And Dr. Ruggiero came across a shake that contained five proteases. He was floored. And he said, listen, I'm going to run an experiment. And nothing to do with the company. The company didn't pay him. He simply did it for scientific research for his patients. So here Dr. Ruggiero is educating me about this and saying, Peter, listen, if we make the shake with cold water and ice and drink it in five minutes, you have a net nitrogen utilization, which in layman's terms simply means the percentage of the absorption and the utilization of all 20 amino acids by our genes of only 15%. However, with Dr. Ruggiero's work more than 30 years ago with Sir John Vane, who won a Nobel Prize in medicine, for his work, not just on proteases, but many other substances as well. Dr. Ruggiero was trained at his feet about the power of proteases. And proteases are completely dependent on temperature and time. So proteases must be allowed to incubate, which simply means that once you blend the shake in the blender, take the lid off and let it sit for 45 minutes. This is called incubation. It's simple. Once you mix the shake, the proteases need to sit in the warm water with the lid off your blender, ideally for 45 minutes to incubate them. And in that 45 minutes, the net nitrogen utilization goes from 15% to an astounding 90% net nitrogen utilization of all 20 amino acids. According to Dr. Ruggiero, this is the highest net nitrogen utilization of any protein he has ever tested, including vegan shakes, which range from 15% to 30% net nitrogen utilization, and an egg, which is 40% net nitrogen utilization. So these shakes made this way by adding proteases are a game changer. For me, it's an easy decision, so okay, and I'm gonna let them incubate for 45 minutes. And by the way, at the end of 45 minutes, you can re-blend the shake and add ice, so you don't have to drink them in warm water. Now let's look at the nutritional value, and let's see. How it comes uh, that uh, we eye supplements or milk supplements only have 16% of net nitrogen utilization. Enzyme blend, lactate from the Aspergillus origel, old friend of mine. 35 years ago, I was working on this. Lipase from the Rhizopus origel, cellulase from Trichodermal longibrachiatum. Invertase, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, make beer. Protease, oh, oh, protease, I've heard this before. Yes, I've been working on this since 1986 with a Nobel laureate, Sir John Bain. So I guess I know what I'm talking about when we are talking about proteases. <laughs> Amylase from the Bacillus subtilis, bromelain. Bromelain is another protease. Papain is another protease. Acid-stable protease, oh, oh. So, so many enzymes so many proteases. What do proteases do? They cut proteins. They cut proteins into smaller pieces that are called peptides or even amino acids. We have wee eye protein concentrate, the famous New Zealand. Milk protein concentrate, and let's stop here. So, we eye and milk protein, so the best of uh, milk-derived proteins. And now we have the proteases, the enzyme that cut those proteins. You prepare your shake. After my talk, you may decide, you may change the way you prepare your shake. You don't put the ice. Enzymes, they like to work at 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 36, body's temperature. You don't put the ice, you prepare the shake, let the enzyme work, and what happens? Instead of having a net nitrogen utilization around 16%, now, after the proteases have worked, and the proteins have been clipped into much smaller pieces, now you have a net nitrogen utilization around 90%. 90% net nitrogen utilization, simple trick. You don't have to buy anything else. Simply let the enzymes work. Enzymes that until today you did not even know they existed. You increase the protein utilization 
from 15% up to 90%. This means you drink, you eat 100 grams of those proteins, 90% will be used. How do we know this? Because we have done experiments. In our laboratory, this is the way, this is a uh, contrast phase microscopy, very sophisticated. You see, these are the casings, all these proteins, they still retain their shape. After 30 minutes, you see how it is uniform. All the proteins, all the casings, the WI proteins have been digested by those enzymes. So if you are, are patient, you are assuming something that is absolutely different. 